Hello everyone. Through this video, I am going to talk about the content reports in AEM 6 or 4. What is a content report? Why it is required? Adobe Consulting Services provides a set of utilities which extends the capabilities of AEM. Content reports are part of ACS common tools. These reports can be used to see various reports like the user who has done some mistakes and posted to break the site, the user who has activated the home page without approval, how many pages use the article component, which may be duplicating in this release, how many pages still need to be activated in Japanese site. Let us see the steps in. Download AZ Command Tool. Upload install package to AEM. Validate the installation. As you can see here, I have the GitHub page open for the ACS Common Tools. So I have downloaded ACS AEM Commons content and content main. I have logged into the AEM. Now I am at the CRX package manager. I'm going to upload the downloaded ACS command. Okay, now as you see here, you can see the ACS AEM commons content package is installed. Now, how do I verify whether the installation was success? I'll go to the AEM start page, tools. I can see the bottom ACS AEM commons. So, whatever we are seeing is part of the ACS AEM commons package. So, I am interested in the report section. This report, it says like it helps to create, execute, and view reports. Let us see the options now. Using this report, we can create a report, update a report, view a report, execute the report, and download the CSV format report. Now let us go to the demo part. So I'll open the reports. As you see, you can see we have a report option wherein we can create the new reports. And we can see the default reports which are part of the ACS common reports. So the component report says a report for searching the available CQ component nodes in the AEM installation instance. A references report, a report for finding all of the references to the provided page and any sub pages. Page report says a report allowing for displaying pages by template and path. Component instances, a report showing all of the instances of a component by the component's links resource type. So let me go to the page report. Here we can see the options for path. I'll then execute the report. Now you can see all the pages under the content path is listed here. So the path, we have the title of the page, the template of the page which is used, and the last modified, if any tags are available, and replication status, the references, and edit option. So when we click on the references, it opens to the corresponding page. When we click, click on edit, we have the page open. We have the path of the page wherein we can edit the page. Now let me come back.
I'll go to the component report. I'll provide the apps path, execute the report, which are part of the apps. So we have the component instance, resource type, and the path. We can get the reports from here. Also, we have edit option, which takes us to the CRXD component path, wherein we can directly modify the component if something is to be modified. To create a new report, we need to add a report. I have provided title sample report. Now add report. I can see a sample report is created here. I'm editing this report. As of now, the default JCR Korea report configuration is available. In search parameter, I'm selecting SEO's Commons Report Builder basic parameters. And result column, I will select SEO's Commons Report Builder date So I have created a sample report here as you see here I just duplicated some of the page report and in result section I haven't added many of those so now when I go to generate the report by providing some path You can see the items are listed here. The result is displayed here now. I can even generate, download the sample report. I just opened the sample report, which is downloaded. As you see, it provides a path and path. Since I have added two times path in the report section. Thanks for watching this video.